I have been wanting to make this video for a very, very long time. Today, we are hopefully going to be doing another budget fishing challenge video. Now, the reason I say hopefully is because this has kind of been an ongoing project over the last couple weeks. Basically, I've been wanting to do this budget challenge at a thrift store. Now, I have been going to so many thrift stores, but nobody seems to have any fishing stuff. No rods, no reels, no tackle. It has honestly been an absolute struggle. Now, what gives me hope for today is that we're going to be expanding our horizons a little bit. Now, I've been going to a bunch of thrift stores here in Delaware. I don't know, man. Maybe nobody donates rods and reels in Delaware. So today, we're going to be going to the neighboring state of Maryland. I'm going to hit up some thrift stores and see if we can get any fishing gear. My goal is to get a rod and a reel for under $10. Now, I don't think that should be too hard. Thrift stores are usually really, really cheap. So it's not really a matter of budget. It's more of a matter of finding fishing gear at a thrift store. I plan on hitting up a couple stores. So let's get this thing started. Hopefully we can find a rod and a reel for under $10 at a thrift store. Let's see what we could do. All right, guys, so we made it to our first thrift shop of the day. I've actually never heard of this one, and I don't think I've been to any of these over here in Maryland. So this should definitely be interesting. Hopefully, they have some kind of fishing rod that we can go to the water, use, maybe some fishing lures. I have no clue. I'm actually pretty excited. Let's get in here and see what they have to offer. All right, thrift store number one of the day. Let's get in here and see what they got. Jeez, right off the bat, this place looks freaking huge. So here is the Christmas stuff. Here is the Halloween stuff. Now where is the fishing stuff? Not fishing stuff. Not fishing stuff. Not fishing stuff. Holy crap, guys. I do not think that you are prepared for this. This is literally crazy. All right, guys, so our budget is $10, and apparently this thrift store is, like, really, really expensive. Like, as you can see here, some of these rods, $50. I think this one, $20, and it needs a new tip, so, like, that's actually pretty expensive for a thrift store. So, pretty much what I think I'm going to do here is try to find the cheapest rod and the cheapest reel that I can. Hopefully, it'll be within our $10 budget. I don't know. I'm going to have to do some search in here. All right, guys, so I actually did end up finding this $4 rod. South Bend Condor. It is super, super short. It's, like, four and a half feet, but, I mean, this will probably get the job done. Now, I have to try to find a reel. So I actually did end up finding this $5 real Quantum QL4. <laughs> it definitely looks pretty interesting. It does fit on this four and a half foot rod. And the drag does work too. So that is actually pretty decent. $5 reel, $4 rod. I mean, that's not too bad. Still, that's like kind of pricey for a thrift store. But I mean, it should be all good here. I think this is what we're going to be going with here today for this challenge. Let's go check out. Thank you. Have a great day, huh? Me too. Jumping out the store, we got our stuff. Boom, $9.54. Man, I'm actually really surprised at how much fishing stuff this thrift store had. All right, y'all, it is the next day. Now, let's take a closer look at what we got yesterday at the thrift store. Honestly, not too bad for $9. So I did drive out here. We are currently at a pond, and we're going to try to catch some fish on this thrift store setup. Guys, this is seriously crazy, though. It is like fall. Out of nowhere, all of a sudden, it was warm these past couple days. Now it's cold, windy, and it just feels like fall. And I'm not going to lie, I'm kind of digging it. All right, before we get started here today, I'm going to clip this little tag off. The rod is officially ours. Hopefully, this wind isn't too bad on the mic. But as you guys can see, here we go. We are at a pond. Now, you guys have seen me fish this pond a couple times before. I don't think I've ever fished this pond when there's been this much wind. I'm not going to lie. For this challenge video, I was expecting to try something new. However, due to the cold front that just moved in and these conditions, I'm not sure exactly if I'm going to be able to catch any fish at all today. So first of all, we're going to pull out the Senko. We're going to put it on a little wacky rig. And hopefully, we can catch a fish to see how this thrift store combo actually holds up. One interesting about this thrift store combo that i noticed is that i'm pretty sure this handle is not meant for this reel the handle says quantum viper the reel says quantum ql4 this is gold this is gray slash silver ish i don't know man oh and i have to switch the uh, handle real quick boom we are now in business the handle actually does look like it's missing something right here i'm not really sure about that there we go guys wacky rig is tied on i do not really know what to expect here today Oh yeah, this feels interesting. Oh geez. Definitely not the best feeling reel that I've ever used. The other awesome thing about this reel is when I open it, it doesn't click to stay open. So Excuse me. Oh, do you know what fish is on in here? Um there's uh I think there, I know there's oh there's a fish on. There's some largemouth. Oh my god, the reel is messing up. Alright. Please stay on. Oh, I think it got off. What is going on here? Oh, this reel sucks. I hope this fish is still on. I think I feel it. Oh there we go. Oh my gosh, what is going on? This reel keeps coming up. Uh, this thing keeps coming loose. Is he off? Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah, yeah. That actually felt like a decent one too. All right, guys. Well, there you go. That's how you fail. I am not really sure about this reel. As I was trying to reel it in, this thing kept coming loose. What is going on here, man? So far, this thrift store reel is letting me down a little bit. Hey, do you know here? What does that say? Do you know here? The playground? Yeah. That up there? Yeah. Okay, thank you. I have no clue what is going on here. All right, guys. Let's go get that fish back. 
Oh, there's a fish. Oh, no. All right, something is... Oh, my gosh. That should have been two fish by now. All right, this reel is really screwing me up here. See, even like this, I just got in a snag. And when I try to reel in like this, do you guys see how the reel completely just does this? How am I supposed to catch a fish on this? So, I mean, even though this is a snag, this is exactly what's been happening to me when I catch a fish, or hook a fish, I should say. And then I have to come over here, try to tighten this back up. So basically, next time I get bit, I'm gonna squeeze the reel and the uh, little screw for the reel so that this thing cannot possibly fall apart. You've gotta be smarter than the thrift shop reel. That is the moral of the story here. All right, let's get on some fish here. Let's stop messing around. All right, guys, so basically our mission is just to catch a fish on this combo. This is gonna be a challenge. All right, so I've come up with kind of like a new plan here. So I've been to this pond actually a couple times and there's like this netting on the bottom of the pond. I don't know how to explain it, but I always get snagged on the bottom. My little circle hooks for my wacky rig kept getting stuck on the bottom. I lost so many Sankos. I'm gonna switch up to a Texas rig. Now I'm probably not gonna be able to set the hook as well. But I'm gonna see what I can do here. Hopefully this will help me not lose any more rigs. Oh God, I think I got a bite, guys. I think I got a bite. All right. Oh my God, am I still on? All right, I'm literally just gonna back up. It is jumping. All right, I'm just gonna back up. Holy crap. All right, fish is still on. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. I don't know if you guys can see this or not, I'm literally just trying to back up here. There's a little landing zone over this way. I cannot do any reeling or else I'm gonna lose this fish. So this is pretty much all I can do right now. Oh! My just freaking snapped. Oh my gosh. That's it, man. I am completely out of ideas now. <sighs> I had a bass right there. The main problem is that I cannot freaking reel with this reel. If there's any tension whatsoever, this handle just gets loose. So far, that is three fish that pretty much on any other rod and reel combo, I would have landed. <gasps> this one, man. Let me tell you about this freaking thrift store combo. <laughs> and I lost another freaking... <laughs> Sanko. I am now taking this personal. I am going to freaking catch a fish on this rod and reel combo. No exceptions, man. It is going to happen. I just have to think of a different plan here. Now, honestly, for the sake of this video, I could just go back to my car, put a different reel on this combo. But nah, man, we are going to fight this thing through. We know that the bait is working. I mean, they're digging the Sankos. I'm snagged. All right, guys, quick update. So I put on a swim bait. I got it snagged. And uh, this reel now is just it's just like not working at all now. Like it won't even reel in, so I'm not really sure what that's about. But I put on this little Charlie's worm. I officially can no longer cast or reel this freaking thing. I do kind of have a plan here. All right, guys, here is my next plan. So since I cannot cast or reel this thing anymore, we're going to this little dock right here. I'm going to be attempting to do a little bit of vertical jigging. Oh, there's a fish. Oh, come here. Is that a bass? Oh, come here. Come here. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's a big crappy. All right, all right, all right. Let's play it smart. Let's play this one smart here. All right, let's get this guy up. Oh my gosh, that is a nice crappy. All right, if I can get this guy up, let's freaking go. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. That is the biggest crappy that I've caught this year. Oh. My gosh, there we go, guys. That is a freaking monster crappy, dude. That is bigger than a lot of the bass I've been catching recently. Oh, there we go, man. That is our first fish of the day. That is our first fish on our freaking rod and reel. The reel does not even work, and somehow we managed to get this giant freaking crappy. Holy crap. Like, guys, that is a giant crappy. I'm gonna have to take a few pictures of this guy really quick. That is a freaking giant crappy. That is the biggest crappy that I've caught this whole year. That is absolutely insane. I'm so happy that we managed to get anything on this rod and reel since the reel is completely busted. Back into the water. Whew, oh man, let's see if we can get any more. I am not sure if we could top that. I am so happy. All right guys, well that is probably gonna be it today for this challenge video. This was definitely a struggle, probably one of the most hardest challenges I've ever done. Now that was a challenge. The struggle wasn't necessarily finding the fish today. I mean, we hooked into about four or five fish. We got a bunch of bites. The problem was actually bringing them up to land. That reel is just does not work. I'm sure if it had the proper handle, it'd be totally fine. All that really matters is that we made it work. I'm just really happy that I didn't come back to my car and put another reel on that rod. Just like back in my Walmart fishing challenge when my rod exploded, man. So just like in that video here today, we actually stuck with it. We managed to catch a fish and I'm just, I don't know, man. I just feel good about it. Now this is definitely not one of those videos where I catch fish after 
after fish after fish. It was definitely a challenge, but man, that crappie made it all worth it. I would rather catch one quality fish here today than a bunch of dinks, and it just made it that much more worth it sticking through with it. That crappie might have been the biggest crappie that I've ever caught. Overall, man, I am just happy that I caught a fish. All right, guys, that is going to be it for this video today. I'm not sure if I actually stressed enough how lucky I did get. I've pretty much been going to thrift stores for a while now trying to get this challenge started, and the first thrift store that we went to when we went to Maryland had so many rods and reels. That is like really crazy and really lucky. If you take one thing away from this video, just make sure if you go to a flea market or a thrift store or anything like that, just really inspect your reels before you purchase them. I mean, usually if you're buying from somewhere like that, they'll be pretty cheap, but still, you don't want to buy something like I did. So yeah, guys, that is going to be it for this video today. Again, I really do appreciate all the support. It's still just so crazy. Let's keep this rolling. If you have any suggestions for me for future videos, definitely leave them down in the comments below. Also, next video is going to be the beginning of my big giveaway. So definitely look forward to that. And there's just so much exciting stuff coming in the near future. Just stay tuned, guys. Thank you again for watching. I'll see you next video.